gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I'm Dr. Nick Nickham, and we are delighted you could join us. All our programs are video streamed to YouTube channel, and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we are talking to our three beauty pageant winners. Uh, to my right is uh, Prena, who is uh, Mrs. India USA 2017 from Texas. Selena Rahim, she is Miss Teen India USA, Texas 2017. And next to her is uh, Hina Akhtar, which, who is Miss India USA, Texas 2017. One of the most uh, unknown trump cards in a beauty pageant is question answers. So uh, let's see how well you ladies are able to prepared for the question and answer <laughs> session. And uh, of course, this is going to go beyond just question and answers because here you really have to debate pro or con. So that means you have to be able to think on the spot and answer the questions. And you are welcome to make notes. And the first topic is, uh, is social media an addiction? Pros and cons, who wants to take? <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. I think uh, social media definitely is an addiction, not like a life-threatening addiction, just like cigarette smoking or alcoholism, etc. But it definitely is addiction because I think pros, we all know, it provides us the connectivity. We are globally connected to each and every person, which was not possible, especially connecting with our family uh, back home in India is one of the best thing you can get where you are able to talk to them so frequently you do not miss them just no. because of that however i think uh, cons wise this has become our lifeline these days mm -hmm. we cannot part from our phone we are with our phone most of the time and then it's basically um, reducing the real social interaction that we are supposed to have like back in my days when i was growing up uh, uh, we as a group of friends used to gather together um, gather and do a lot of talking and there was a real real laughter at that time nowadays these laughter are limited to a series of emoticons and smileys <laughs> which in my opinion is not a very good thing again when you go to a restaurant you just see a group of people sitting on a table and they are all busy connecting to their virtual friend despite sitting with their real friend so you know you have your real people sitting next to you who want to spend time with you spouses. However, spouses of course <laughs> so it's still when you are there with your close one who want to spend time with you but you are so busy in updating your virtual friend or uh, virtual in, uh, in your own virtual world that you want to update what you're doing right now, you're just missing on the moments. Yes, you yeah. are missing a lot of memories that you are supposed to make at that time. And that is my Let's point. Let's take Selena's uh, opinion on this because she's in high school and uh, I'm sure she's got a lot more to say. <laughs> I feel like social media and it's like controversial because there isn't bad side of it and there isn't a good side of it. It's just how you use it, you know? Like in our school, in our, one of my classes, we, oh sorry, in one of my classes, we use computer. Yes. Where like we actually use media and everything to uh, analyze what we have. Like for our business cl uh, class, we use it for like, you know, what's marketing going on right now and social media like what are people how are they uh building up their stuff and how are they portraying it in my other law class uh we're seeing that uh how are they like uh putting themselves out like uh like i guess a few months ago there was one of this um thing in social media where a person was live taping him shooting oh, yes. other people i yeah. guess have you seen that, seen that yeah. he was live taping that on facebook <laughs> So, like, it's like if you use social media for bad stuff, like portraying violence, portraying other abuses that people do not like, that's bad. But if you use it to reconnect with your friends, uh, with your family back home, Australia, any part of the world, that's good. Like, you know, because, like, you, you're reconnecting with them. You're not forgetting them. So, yeah. Okay. You know? <laughs> yeah. So um, it, social media is definitely an addiction. Um, 
but there's of course pros and cons to it. Um, it's good for families, good for keeping in touch with your friends and even some businesses. I use social media for my businesses and it works great. Um, but the cons is I feel like even, even kids, like they're spending too much time on social media where they are beginning to lack this form of communication. They, they're not really able to fully express themselves in person, but on text message, they'll write a whole essay, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, it's, so that's, that's one of the things that I wish we could change. Like communication is so important in growing and developing and, and, um, and using it throughout your life with other people in your career. So that's, that's my word. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe I shouldn't say too much bad about the social media because uh, yeah. we have a social media yeah. as a channel uh, and uh, it's an That's internet. A good thing, because we're portraying. I know. Stuff. It's an internet media where we have close to 16,000 contacts, uh, but we try to use this to sort of expand our community experience here in the United States. That's our main purpose. Uh, but uh, as you all said, you know, unfortunately, social media is something that has invaded our lives, both personal and private, professional, all these things. As a result, it's taken a lot of time out of our lives, knowingly or unknowingly, because if you go to any workplace, most people are on their social media because they can use their cell phones. They don't have to be noticed as to what they are doing. As a result, uh, you know, everything is on the social media. And that's where I think we have to draw a line. And social media is, is, is like a double-edged sword because we see so much of sensationalization, all these esoteric videos, uh, or, or, for example, uh, people trying to show off, <laughs> so saying that you know they have this, that, all these things, uh, and also fake news. So we need to understand what is reality and what is fake. We don't need to know everything happening in the world, which is most of it is fake. <laughs> what is being portrayed in the social media. At least if we just be reasonable and maybe we need to put time limit on ourselves, but I'm in the social media network, <laughs> so I do study all these things so that I have a better understanding of how social media is exploiting two billion people every day to make money. Have any one of you made any money from the social media? No. See, no. you're all working for uh, Facebook and uh, other social media for free. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I, I personally see vloggers myself, like, you know, from yeah. LA and stuff, how they vlog. <laughs> so I feel like they're making money out of it, but at the same time, they're portraying positiveness. Like, you know, like one of the vloggers I watch, they're like, be you. So like, I, yeah. watch it every day. So in your mind, it's like, be you. Be you. Do not be someone that you're not, you yes. know? So yeah. there's always going to be positive content if you search for it. Yes. That's beautiful. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickham, and my special guests are uh, Prena. She is Mrs. India, USA, Texas 2017. Next to her is uh, Selena, who is uh, Miss Teen India, USA, Texas 2017. And next to her is uh, Hina Akhtar, who, who is uh, Miss India, USA 2017. And we have been talking about social media pros and cons. And please do leave your comments below there. And, and please Please, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and when we come back we're going to be talking about an other social issue thank you so much for watching before we conclude any final thoughts ladies <laughs> uh, well lastly we would like to thank our sponsors um, sage production DG and factory Texans energy and radio the bung 105.3 FM Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. I mean, these are the people who work behind the scenes and make things look so glamorous on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so, you so much, much, ladies, and uh, we will be back with uh, another episode. Thank you so much for watching this video.